house of the Lord on this morning, and we thank him for yet another Palm Sunday. We're honoring God for the many wonderful things that he has done for us. Won't you stand at this time that we might go before the throne of grace. Father, we bless your name on this morning. We come for no other purpose than to give you glory and honor for the great things that you have done. We thank you because you've been merciful. We thank you because you've been kind. We thank you because you've been loving. And we bless your name for doing for us what we couldn't do for ourselves. You sent your son that we might have a right to the tree of life. And for that, we give you praise on this morning. In this Easter season, God, we thank you for the sacrifice that Christ made at Calvary for us, for our sins, that we might be set free. Hallelujah, that we might have your covering standing over us at all times. And so we give you praise on this morning. We thank you that you've allowed us to come into this house just to say thank you. Hallelujah, and to receive again from you all that you have for us on this day. Now, God, we pray your covering and your blessings on each one who will enter these doors on this morning. Let there be something done and said that will meet the needs of those who come. Not only those, Lord, but those who may be in the streaming audience that have a need. God, meet those needs on this morning. Send healing, we pray. Send comfort, we pray. Hallelujah, touch bodies, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, touch minds, touch hearts. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we praise you because we know you are able to do that, that we cannot do ourselves. So we praise you on this morning and we give you honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your mercy. Thank you for the umbrella of protection that covers us wherever we may be going and when we travel. God, do, hallelujah, that that only you can do. Hallelujah, we lift your name on this morning. Hallelujah, we lift your name on this morning. We lift your name on this morning. Hallelujah, we say thank you, God. Hallelujah, if we can't ask for anything else. Hallelujah, if we don't ask for anything else. We've come to praise you. We've come to say thank you. Hallelujah. We say thank you because we recognize it could have been another way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But your blessings have covered us. Hallelujah. So on this day, Lord, hallelujah, we ask. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for a deeper portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for a greater touch. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We ask for more favor with you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we ask for more from you. Hallelujah, fill us up, God. Fill us up with your glory. Fill us up with your mercy. Fill us up with your love. Fill us up with your praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our hearts are grateful. Hallelujah on this morning. Uh, hallelujah. Now we ask that you would bless everything uh, that will be done and said in this house on today. Uh, hallelujah. Send the word that will meet the needs of everyone. Uh, hallelujah. Send a word that will send healing. Uh, send a word that will send blessings. Uh, hallelujah. Send the word that will give provision. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, and send a word, uh, hallelujah, that will give us a desire for more of you. Uh, hallelujah, now remember our leaders, God. Uh, remember the Metropolitan Archbishop as she travels on today. 
God, cover them with your mercy and cover them with your grace. Uh, hallelujah. Put a hedge of protection around them and around the automobile. Uh, hallelujah. Bless the services where they are going. Uh, remember our bishop, hallelujah, and pastor and prophet on this morning. Uh, hallelujah. Provide for him. Give him what he needs. Uh, speak to his heart. Uh, strengthen their bodies, God. Uh, hallelujah. Fill the weak places, God. Hallelujah. Remember Pastor Roz on today who will bring the word. Uh, hallelujah. Strengthen her. Uh, hallelujah. And let the word be rich in this place. Uh, now remember your people, God. Hallelujah. Who come as empty pitchers uh, before a full fountain. Uh, fill us up, God. Uh, fill us up with your word. Uh, hallelujah. Fill us up with your praise. Uh, and today we give you glory. Hallelujah. The people of God say thank you, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. We put our hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the many wonderful things that you've done for us. Uh, and we ask these blessings in your name and for your sake. Uh, hallelujah. And everyone will say amen. Uh, hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good at this time. Uh, our minister of music is coming to lead us further in these services. Come on, clap your hands as he comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Speed it up a little bit. Can you speed it up a little bit? How many, how many come to lift God's name on high? Oh, 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 oh. It says this. Lord, I lift your name on high, yeah. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life, yeah. I'm so glad you came to save us. I want to sing it again. Lord, I lift your name on high, Lord, I I'm so glad you're in my life It feels real good I'm so glad you came to save us I want you to help me sing Say, Lord, I live There it is, let's make one big choir Lord, I love to sing your I'm so glad you're in my life Yeah I'm so glad you came here we go, come on. Oh, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dad, you came from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Everybody clap your hands. You might as well just clap with us. We're going to have church for a little while. Let's go from the top. Yeah. Lord, I lift. Lord, I lift your name on high. No, 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 no. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're in my life. Yeah, I'm so glad. I want to hear you sing the verse. Come on, lift your voice. Come on. Say, Lord, I lift. Come on, pump it up. Let's sing with one big voice. Oh, you came from heaven, you came from heaven to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dad, you came from the cross to the grave, from the grave. Hey, hey, hey. Do it again, one more time. Oh, you came. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. Come on, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Everybody clap, 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 clap. Let me see you just clap. That's all right. 
Let me see if you got some rhythm. Come on. Put it in your hands. Put it in your feet. Let's go to the top. I want to hear you. Come on. Say, Lord, I live your name. the music. I want to hear them sing it. Y'all sing it real loud. Come on. Say, Lord, I live. There it is. Come on. Lord, I love to sing. Come on, sing it to him. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you came from heaven to show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt you pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave. Lord, I lift your name. Do it again. Everybody, lift it up. You came from heaven to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt you pay. From the cross to the grave. Lord, I live. One more, let's take it up. Oh, you came from heaven to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt you paid from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I live. We're going to take it up one more time. Oh. From the cross to the grave, yeah, 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 to the sky, Lord, I live. Oh, you came one more time from heaven to show the way. But thank you from the earth to the cross, my thank you, pay. From the cross to the grave, the grave to the sky, yeah, Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Yeah. Lord, we thank you, Lord, we lift your name. Oh, Lord, I lift your name. One more time, let's see. Lord, I lift your name. Now give him a praise. Come on, give him a high praise for a second. You just said you lifted his name on high. Come on, lift your hands and open up your mouth and give him a high praise. Give him a high praise and hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just thank him for being here. Come on, just thank him. Thank him for waking you up. Come on, thank him for starting you on your way. Come on, thank him because if it had not been for him on your side. How many, how many people's testimony is that? Can, can, can you really say that if it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? Where would you be? Hallelujah. I don't thank him because he's because we're never defeated. I want you to know that no matter what you go through, you're never defeated. Look at somebody and say you're never defeated. Song says this, and because God is the greatest power, we shall never never be defeated and because God is the greatest power we shall never never be defeated sing that line with me and because God, because God is the greatest power is the greatest power we shall never we shall never be defeated, never be defeated. The greatest power. We shall never raise it up. Come on. Let's declare that over our life. Never be defeated. And because God, you say. Because God. It's a greatest power. We shall never. We shall never. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Sing it like you mean it. And because God. 
trials, no matter the tribulation, you'll never be defeated. I like this part here. Listen. Oh, the devil is a liar. God is exalted. I'll never be defeated. I'll never be defeated. Come on, help me sing. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. I'll never be defeated. Never be defeated. Come on. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Come on, raise it up. Say the devil is a liar. Devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. Never be defeated. 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 No matter what happens in my life, I'll never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Say, never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never Come on, be defeated. give God, give God glory. You ought to clap your hands if you know you'll never be defeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time, one more time. Papa Sheen, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. I said the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never, never be defeated. Help me sing all over the room. And because God, oh, greatest. We shall never be defeated one more time. And because God greatest power, we shall never never be defeated. Come on, we just take a few seconds of praise it because you're not defeated. I don't know what you're going through, but lift your hands and open up your mouth. And give him a praise because the trial may be hard, but it's not defeating you. It's not defeating. Come on. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Because we're never defeated. We're never defeated. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah. Because God is the greatest power, we'll never be defeated. I thank God because that resonates in my soul. I'll never be defeated. You see, we have a power that we can depend on. God is the greatest power, and we we'll, shall never, 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 never be defeated. Hallelujah. I thank God for being here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to New Jerusalem International Christian Ministries. We're so excited to see each of you this morning. To those of you in our streaming audience, we're located at 701 Johnson Willis Drive in northern Chesterfield, Virginia. We're so excited that you decided to tune in and to be with us this morning, to stream in. And to those of you who are here, we're excited to see each of you. Do we have any first-time visitors with us this morning? Second time? Well, God bless each of you. We're excited you're here. This is Palm Sunday. 
This is a very special Sunday morning. We thank God because this is the official beginning of Holy Week. Amen. Today is the first day of Holy Week. And this resonates and makes us think back on the time when Jesus triumphantly entered into Jerusalem. And they began to wave the palm leaves. Yeah, yeah. They waved those palm leaves singing Hosanna. And I would always think the word Hosanna meant praise. But I found out, Bishop, it means beg. They were begging to be saved during that time. So that was, that was very, very prevalent, and it was necessary. So this morning, as you enter into worship, we want to thank God for the opportunity to be present this Palm Sunday in New Jerusalem International Christian Ministries, where our founder is the eminent Metropolitan Olive Chamberlain Brown. We honor her in her absence this morning. We thank God for our phenomenal senior leader, Bishop Joel Vincent Brown. We bless your name, Bishop. And we thank you for the support source he has, Lady Crystal Blue Brown. And our executive assistant, Pastor Ross Brown. We thank God for each of you. You're very important. You're very important in the ministry. And for the next few moments, we're going to get up and welcome each other. God bless you. Welcome to New Jay News. I'm Karen Holland. Here's what's happening this week. As we approach the sacred time of Easter, we invite you to join us for a power-packed Good Friday service on Friday, March 29th at 7 o'clock p.m. This evening of worship will be dedicated to honoring the profound last sayings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This year, our service will be uniquely impactful as we feature the insights and reflections of the dedicated deacons of NJICM. Let us gather together this Friday to reflect on the significance of Christ's last words. Come and bring your hearts open to receive and let us journey together to the depths of Christ's sacrifice. We invite you to join us for a truly special and uplifting Resurrection Sunday celebration at the river. 
8100 Cogdale Road in Chesterfield, Virginia. Begin your day with reverence and renewal at our sunrise service on Sunday, March 31st at 7 a.m. Let's welcome the dawn of this blessed day together as we commemorate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then, continue the joyous celebration with our morning worship at 10 a.m. in the same location. Experience the power of unity and love as we gather to praise, worship, and reflect on the significance of Christ's resurrection. Whether you are a longtime member of the New Jay family or seeking a place to connect and celebrate this sacred occasion, all are welcome to join us for an awesome move of God. Come as you are, and let's rejoice together in the hope and promise of Easter Sunday. Come and take part in a momentous occasion as we commemorate two decades of unwavering dedication and spiritual leadership by our beloved Bishop Joel V. Brown. Join us for an unforgettable evening of celebration and gratitude at Bishop Joel's 20th Pastoral Anniversary Gala. Immerse yourself in elegance and grace at the Victory Theater and Event Center, conveniently located at 7903 Melothian Turnpike in RVA. Step into a world of sophistication as we honor Bishop Joel's profound impact on our ministry. From a black tie attire is the order of the evening, adding a touch of glamour to this extraordinary event. Tickets are available now for $75 per person with special pricing for children 12 and under. Secure your spot today by visiting NGICM.com. Don't miss your chance to be a part of this historic celebration. We are thrilled to share with you the exciting news of the upcoming wedding celebration of our esteemed elders, Luther Collins and Sherita Jones. You are cordially invited to witness and celebrate the union of Elder Luther Collins and Elder Sherita Jones in holy matrimony. This momentous occasion will be open to the congregation, allowing all of us to share in their joy and bless them as they embark on this new chapter of their lives together. The ceremony will take place on Saturday, April 13th, 2024 at First Union Baptist Church at 3510 Dill Road in Richmond, Virginia at 3 p.m. There will be a private reception to follow honoring the newlyweds. It will be a time of fellowship, laughter, and heartfelt well wishes as we celebrate their love and commitment. As always, we encourage everyone to stay connected with us through all our media outlets on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok at New Jerusalem ICM. You can also follow us on Instagram at New J Connect for the latest on all of our ministries and events. Thanks for tuning in to New J News. I'm Kieran Holland. Have a blessed week. Thank you for the announcements. Let's keep them in mind and mark your calendar accordingly. Now it's time for the Word of God. We're so excited this morning and I am honored and delighted to introduce and present to some of you who don't know our speaker of the hour. This morning we will be ministered by, ministered to, by our own Elder Rosalind Brown. Elder Rosalind is the second oldest and the first daughter of the late Bishop James Ferguson Brown and our Metropolitan Archbishop Olive Brown. She is also a minister, a woman who preaches the word of God, and I've learned her ministry began around 1985. And during that time, she's ministered to so many not only that, she's a psalmist. We know the Roz is a singer. She speaks and she sings. And she's ministered for the past 30 years throughout the United States and abroad. We're so honored she's a mom of Chanel and Jasmine. She's also the grandmother of five beautiful adopted and foster grandchildren. More than that, she is our 
Executive Assistant Pastor here in New Jerusalem International Ministries. Pastor Ross, we're so excited to have you to speak to us this morning. Her voice will be the voice you hear after our next selection. Thank you. Elder Carey. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's just saturate this house with the worship for a moment. Come on, begin to lift your voice in this place. Hallelujah. To the one that makes ways out of no way, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. The one that continues to open doors. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for this moment and opportunity to stand before you. Hallelujah. Bishop Joel, I say thank you. Um, thank you for your years. Thank you for your servitude. Um, thank you for the word that you spoke over my life in December. Um, that word has, is still resonating today. Um, when I was going through situations and circumstances, Bishop Joel said, even in this, your ministry, your works will go far. And since then, Bishop Joel, I can say that you are not a liar. <laughs> you listen to the voice of God. Um, many people don't know that this week I'll be uh, five years as a full-time consultant. And what, what does that mean is I don't work for nobody. I work for myself. And, <laughs> and in December, Bishop Joel said that from this moment on, you will go into rooms that you would not even be able to imagine. And so I'm so grateful that the Lord is making it happen. Hallelujah. The Lord is making it happen. And it's not about me. It's all about God. So thank you, Bishop Joel. So even if I'm in, involved with the NBA or involved with a different world tour, um, God is still in the midst of it. And I'm so grateful. So I'll sing this. Lift him up. Lift him up. Still he speaks from eternity. He said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Come on, I dare you to do that. Oh, lift him up. Yes, Lord. Lift him up. Still he speaks. Still he speaks from eternity. He declared if I, he said if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. How to reach the masses, men of every birth, for an answer. Jesus gave the key. He said, he said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Now come on, everybody. Lift him up. Lift him up. Oh, lift him up. If I, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw on me. Come on, one more time. Let's lift them up together, everybody. Oh, lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Yeah. 
yes, Lord. He said, if I, if I didn't get up from the earth, I'll draw all men to Come on, somebody right there. I dare you to lift them up. Hallelujah. Come on, lift them up in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. 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 We lift your name high, God. Hallelujah. We lift your name high, oh God. Hallelujah. We lift your name high, oh God. Hallelujah. High above our situations, we lift you. High above how we feel, we lift you. High above what we see, we lift you. We lift your name high. We lift your name high. He said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Now come on, somebody, and do it right there. Come on, somebody, and do it right there. Lift his name high. Lift his name high. Lift his name high. Lift his name high. celebrating our deliverance celebrating God the gift of your son Jesus God we thank you today we lift up our palm branches and we worship you as worthy today we wave our palm branches hallelujah and we glorify you as king sit in the midst of us hallelujah let your train fill the temple God be glorified in this house today hallelujah God be magnified in this house today God as the song said be lifted in this house today hallelujah and we bless your name hallelujah for all that you are all that you have done and all that you're going to do in Jesus name one more time clap your hands You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Can we just give God praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we thank God for the pastor of this great church and the vice bishop of the International Christian Ministries, his grace, the bishop, Joel Vincent Brown. Hallelujah. We love you, bishop. We thank God for our first lady, Lady Kay. Lady Crystal Brown, we love you and we thank God for you. And she's preaching all the way in North Carolina, but we celebrate her eminence, her excellency, our Metropolitan Archbishop, Olive Chamberlain Brown. We love you, Chief Apostle, and we're praying for you as you travel today on the highways and minister. And we thank God for open doors that are receiving and and inviting and 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 pulling 
on the anointing of such a great voice and and such a great leader in this hour to the nation and to the world. We thank God for our chief apostle. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not only for the way God is using her, but for God using her at 80 awesome years old. That means something. That means something. I, I, I talked to her last night and I was like, are you in North Carolina? And she was like, no, I'm leaving in the morning. I said, in the morning, you gonna get up in the morning? She said, yeah, we leaving in the morning. So she got up and went on and traveled this morning and they're in route to, it's a little later in the afternoon, the service, but she headed on that way. And we thank God, I, I thank God cause she can, amen. <laughs> Amen. It is a blessing, and we thank God. I thank God for you. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I thank God for you. Hallelujah. It is such a blessing, and we thank God for not only being here and being in the house of the Lord, but we do thank God for this season that we're in. As I heard um, our own Bishop-elect Angela Angela and say, um, Bishop Desmond, uh, say we are in, this is the first day, the beginning of Holy Week. Yes. Amen. Yes. It is the first day of Holy Week. And we have, since Valentine's Day, um, on Wednesday, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, we started celebrating Lent. We started celebrating the 40 days of Lent. And um, we celebrate Lent all the way up until Holy Week. And um, up until Easter or Resurrection Sunday, and then officially on Palm Sunday, we get into the eight days of Holy Week. And we will celebrate today, Palm Sunday, and we will celebrate Monday, Thursday, and Holy Monday, and Holy Tuesday, and Holy Saturday, and Good Friday. And then on next Sunday morning, we will gather together at the river Hallelujah, we will gather together at the land that God has given us. We will gather outside, we will gather in celebration, and we will come together and celebrate at 7 a.m. Resurrection Sunday morning, sunrise service, and then at 10 a.m., our official Resurrection Day service, and it's gonna be blessed of the Lord. God bless you, Overseer Michelle Claymore. Come on, come on. No, 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 you don't have to stop back there. Come on up. Amen, we are so glad to have you in the house this morning. Amen, we thank God for you, and we bless God for all of you that have gathered and, and just decided to come into the house of the Lord to celebrate Palm Sunday morning, amen. And it's a good day. We are just excited about all that God is doing. Um, we're going to go to the word of the Lord in the book of Luke, chapter number nine, 19. We're going to go to the um, gospel of Luke where the message of Palm Sunday, uh, one of them it, it is in uh, all three, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, Matthew, Luke and John, I believe it is in three of the Gospels that we find the story of Palm Sunday. But let's go to the book of Luke 19, and then we'll go to John chapter 12 in just a moment. But let's go to Luke chapter 19. And I have to trick myself. Luke chapter 19. <laughs> Luke chapter 19, verse number 28. If you have it, say, I love the word. I love the word. It's up on your screen. Luke chapter 19, and verse 28. After telling this story, Jesus went on towards Jerusalem, walking ahead of his disciples. As he came to the towns of Bethphage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he sent two disciples ahead and said, go into that village over there. Tell them as you enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there and no one has ever ridden it. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, why are you untying the colt? Then just say, the Lord hath need of it. So he went and found the colt, just as Jesus has said. And sure enough, as they were untying it, 
The owners asked them, why are you untying the coat? And the disciples replied, the Lord needs it. So they brought the coat to Jesus and they threw their garments over it for him to ride on it. And as he rode along, the crowd spread out their garments on the road ahead of him. And when he reached the place where the road started to go down the Mount of Olives, all of his followers began to shout and to sing as they walked along, praising God for the wonderful miracles they had seen. And they declared blessings on the king, or Hosanna, the king, uh -huh. who comes in the name of the Lord. And as we heard our Bishop Designick saying, not only were they saying Hosanna, but they were pleading to the king who comes in the name of the Lord. They were begging to the king who comes in the name of the Lord. They were declaring peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. But some of the Pharisees among the crowd says, teacher, rebuke these followers saying things like that. He wanted them to rebuke him for calling him king. But Jesus was a little gangster and he replied, if they keep quiet, then the stones will cry out. The stones along this road will burst out and shout in tears. Go with me to the book of John chapter number 12. The book of John chapter number 12 and verse number 12. Then the next day, the news that the Jews were on the way to Jerusalem swept through the city. And at that point, a large crowd of Passover visitors took palm branches. They took palm branches and they went down the road to meet him. And they shouted, praise God, praise God. Blessings or Hosanna on him who comes in the name of the Lord. Hail the king of Israel. Jesus then found a young donkey and he rode on it, fulfilling the prophecy that said, do not be afraid of the people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming and he's riding on a donkey. His disciples didn't understand at that time that this was a fulfillment of prophecy. But after Jesus entered into his glory, they remembered what had happened and realized these things had been written about him. One more quick passage of scripture that references that is in the book of Zechariah chapter number nine and verse number nine. Zechariah verse number nine and verse number nine. And I'm gonna read it real quickly. I'm gonna switch to New King James Version. It pretty much is the same. But it says in verse number nine in New King James, rejoice greatly, O daughters of Jerusalem. Now in New Living Translation, I think it says people of Jerusalem because they changed it to not be gender specific. But it said in the original translation, rejoice, O daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. and shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. It says, behold, your king is coming. He is just and having salvation, lowly. He is riding on a donkey. Uh -huh. This was 500 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was literally 500 years before this literally or actually had taken place. Oh it said he is, he, he, he is just and having salvation, riding on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey or a baby donkey, and I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horses from Jerusalem. The battle bow shall be cut off. Look at somebody and say, God is cutting off the battle. And he shall speak peace to the nations. And dominion shall be from sea to sea. And from the river to the ends of the earth, saith the Lord God.
for the next few minutes, I want to bring to this, this passage again in your hearing, and I want you to understand for the next few minutes by this subject, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is the red carpet to the resurrection. Every now and then you will understand that to a significant time of event or to a significant time of celebration, there will be a red carpet. And in times like these, when we, even when we do things like watching the Super Bowl, as they enter in preparation to go into these significant times, what we see is those of significant status and celebrity status will begin walking the red carpet. In time, in preparation as they go to awards such as the Oscar Awards and the Emmy Awards and the BET Awards, uh -huh. the preliminary season or time of preparation to enter into this, this, this uh, particular event, there will be what has been identified as the red carpet. And even in this day and time, we are in a season and a time, even as of entertainment, where the red carpet events have become as significant as the actual event. I don't know if you've ever been to our own Elder Charvette's event back in, in December when her event comes and when uh, the pop up, uh, the pop-up, uh, what is it? Conference. The pop-up conference comes. When you enter the pop-up conference, you'll see displayed banners and backdrops, and what you will walk is the pink carpet as you get ready to go into the event. Right. I challenge you to understand that Palm Sunday was the green carpet. Right, right. I came to let you know that when Jesus went through Bethany, what he did was walk the green carpet. Right, right. But on Good Friday, the green carpet turned red. And every now and then, your situations in life, every now and then, the situations that you face will look green one day, but they will turn red the next. Today is what is identified in our Christian culture, in our Christian community, and in our Christian calendar as one of the most significant times in Christianity. Today is classified as Palm Sunday. It is also classified as Passion Sunday. It is the first day, as we said, of Holy Week. It's the first day of, of what is understood at, in many Christian faiths as Passion Week. Right, this right. is the week of the passion of the cross. Um, this Sunday is preparing us for next Sunday. Right, right. It is eight days that we will begin to look back on of unfolding drama. It is eight days that we are in the midst of, of unfolding suspense. It is eight days that we are in, in significance of, of history, of what took place in the body and, and the blood of Jesus Christ. This journey begins in a very interesting place. And when we look at the at Palm Sunday, it is in the midst of the feast of the Passover. It is in the Passover feast and the Passover celebration. Yes. But it was the unveiling of lights, camera, and action. Yes. It was this modern day red carpet that we call the green carpet. Uh -huh. It was the runway to the resurrection. And people had come from everywhere, not only to, to see Jesus, but they had come out in an effort to see celebrate the Passover. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. as they came out, the streets were lined because they had been celebrating for days. As they came out, they were in festive attire because of the time of celebration. When they came out, they were in festive spirits because of the time of celebration. And the journey begins. And so, 
like the modern day red carpet or a modern day runway. What you will see when you're looking in a modern day entertainment is when the red carpet events begin. What you begin to see is limousines and Lamborghinis, Mercedes Sprinters and SUVs. And you will begin to see all types of, of celebrities disembarking out of vehicles that they have more than likely rented, even uh -huh. though they may have their own, yeah. they want something better. Uh -huh. And more than likely they have come in an attire that they don't wear every day. They have come dressed, they have called for hair and makeup. Uh -huh. And when they get to the red carpet, you will see the red carpet host. And what they will begin to ask is one question, who are you wearing? Yeah. 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 They used to say, what are you wearing? But now they say, who are you wearing? And they will begin to rattle off the names of, of, of designers such as Louis Vuitton. They will begin to rattle off the name of designers such as Gucci and Chanel and Versace and Ralph Lauren and Dolce and Gabbana and Jimmy Choo and Christian Louboutin. They will begin to begin to reveal all of these names of who they are wearing. And every now and then, when we go through situations in life, you need to stop and interview yourself and say, who am I wearing? Right, right, right. Because when life comes, even though you may be getting ready for Easter, and even though you may have stopped by the mall and said, I want something real pretty to wear for Easter, you have to be careful that the enemy does not cause you to pick up things that you should not be wearing. Because every now and then, you you can be wearing Chanel on the outside, but be careful that you're not wearing fear on the inside. You can be wearing Jimmy Choo's on the outside and Stuart Wiseman on your feet, but all of a sudden you'll recognize that you got depression on the inside. And I came to challenge you this morning to ask you, who are you wearing? Are you the wearing the spirit of heaven? The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah that he will give us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven. Because when you least expect it, the spirit of fear will jump on you. When you least expect it, the spirit of anxiety can jump up on you. When you least expect it, you'll be applying for the house. You'll be put in the resume for the job. But all of a sudden, you will have on, I can apply for it. But the spirit of you ain't qualified will jump on your back. The spirit of they done had about 700 applicants for one job. And all of a sudden, a spirit will jump on you to try to make you believe that you cannot be what God says you can be. That you cannot go where God says you can go. That you cannot do what God says you can do. But I came with one message this morning. I came to let you know and remind you that this is the green carpet and you cannot wear it. If it's not like God, don't wear it. If it didn't come from God, don't wear it. Don't wear it for the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter number 11 verse number 11 in the book of Ephesians chapter number 6 verse number 11 it said put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wilds of the devil go to the next verse go to the next verse for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers and against rulers of darkness of this age it 
said the spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places. Go to verse number 13. And it began to say, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day and done all to stand. Next verse, the Bible says, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the waist, your waist with truth, put on the breastplate of righteousness. Next verse, the Bible says, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The Bible says, the Bible says, above all, take up the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. I think we got one more. And take the helmet of salvation, which is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. One more verse. Give me one more verse. And let me see what it says. It says, pray in all ways. Pray in all ways. With all supplication. In the spirit. And be watchful. Until this sin. For perseverance. And supplication. For all the saints. I came to ask the saints this morning. What are you wearing? I came to ask the saints this morning. What are you wearing? We're on Palm Sunday, red carpet. We're on the way to the resurrection. But I came to ask you, what are you wearing? Did you pick up your palm branches? The Bible said they begin to grab palm branches and throw them down. Why did they throw the palm branches down? Because they were on a mission to cover the dusty road. And every now and then, as you're walking, you will kick up dust from your past. You will kick up dust from what you heard. You will pick up dust from your childhood. But when you drop the palm branches, it reminds you that you're covered. I remember when we were children, we used to play hide and seek. We used to play run, you can't catch me. But then we used to play a game called red light, green light. And the dusty road went from green carpet to red carpet. And on the green, you could go. But when your neighbor or when your friend said red light, you had to stop. But ultimately, it was a cycle and it was a journey to get to the finish line. It was a cycle and it was a mission to get to the promise. And I came to tell you on this red carpet, to resurrection, you're on a mission to get to the promise. I came to tell you, you can't give up because what this is, is the process to the promise. The day that Jesus went down Bethlehem on his way, on his way to Jerusalem. It represented power. And Jesus uh, triumphantly entered uh, Jerusalem. It was powerful. It was a power move. He didn't have to go. Why do you call it a power move? Because these triumphant marches ordinarily follow 
showed the victory in a battle. But what Jesus did, he proved that I ain't gotta wait till the battle is over. Usually, it followed a military conquest. Usually, this kind of march would follow a military battle. But what Jesus came to prove, he told the disciples, we coming in hot. We going to the cross hot. We going to Calvary. I ain't come to play with y'all. We already got the victory. Yes, I'm going to die. Yes, I'm going to bleed. Yes, they're going to pierce me in my side. But what I know is before the battle even starts, we already got the victory. And Jesus said to the disciples, he said, go and get me. King James Version said, get me a young ass. That's a donkey. He said, get me. He said, I don't want no old ass. I need a young ass that ain't never been ridden, that ain't been through nothing, that ain't had to shed no tears. He said, go and get me a young donkey. And Jesus told them, he said, when you get there, it's going to be a young one. He hadn't been tied up long. He hadn't been held there long. Matter of fact, he had only been there a couple of hours. But what the owner didn't know is that the same donkey that had been tied up for about three or four hours had literally been tied up 500 years. The same donkey that had just been there a few months had been held up for 500 years. And I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how long it's been. I came to let you know if God said it, if God said go get it, go get it. If God said you can have it, you can have it. If God said it's yours, it's yours. It may have been 60 days and you ain't seen nothing. It may have been seven years and it don't look like nothing has come through. But if God said it, because often the enemy will use threats. He will use fear tactics. He will use sickness. He will use doubt. Just like the Pharisees, they'll try to stop you. Tell Jesus, tell your disciples, they can't call you that. Tell your disciples, they can't say that. But the devil is a liar. If I hold my peace, the rocks will cry out. If I hold my peace, the stones will cry out. The stones will cry out. And I heard one theologian say, what you don't understand, that the stones already were crying out. You just couldn't hear it. The stones are still crying out because the stone that the builder rejected has become the head of the corner. I'm almost finished, but I came to tell you, number one, when you're gonna possess your promise, the first thing Jesus said, he told the disciples in Luke chapter 19 and verse number 30, when he told them there was a donkey, the first thing he said was, go get it. And so many times, that we are in the process. We are waiting for the blessing to fall from the sky. He said, go to the village ahead of you and you will find a coat there, but it ain't here. It's over there. And you got to realize there are some things that are just waiting on you to show up. There are some things that are waiting.
waiting but you've got to know that you got to change positions you got to get out of your comfort zone as a matter of fact Jesus didn't say I'm going with you to get it he told them go get it sometimes you got to realize that you don't need everybody all you need is a word and the word was go get it the second thing Jesus told them is untie it in this process a possession go get it and some things you're gonna have to untie it some things you're gonna have to untwist it some things you're gonna have to untangle it it will not always be easy it will not always come without a fight it will not always drop in your lap but look at your neighbor and say neighbor go get it and when you get there untie it the next thing he said he said when you get there and you go get it when you get there and untie it the third thing I want you to do is bring it back to me look at your neighbor and say neighbor give God it give God it whatever you're going through whatever you believe in God for go get it untie it and give God it give God it sickness give God it trouble give God it you need financial breakthrough give God it you're in a process that you don't understand give God it your children give God it the promotion give God it ask me why number four the Lord needs it the Lord needs it this ain't about you this is about God there is a work that God is calling you to do you go get it give God it because God needs it then the next thing you say what are we gonna do what is God going to do God said get on it get on it and the Bible said in John chapter 12 verse number 14 New King James Version John 12 verse number 14 it said Jesus then Jesus when he had found the young donkey he sat on it I came to tell you that God is going to sit on it God is going to sit on it the Bible says in the book of Acts verse chapter number 2 and a sound came from heaven as a mighty rushing wind and it sat on each one of them your dreams ask God sit on it your purpose ask God sit on it and then the last thing is said he said in Luke 19 36 it said he began to ride it I came to tell you that in this season ride your vision till the wheels fall off don't be starting and stopping you're starting something over here and then you done left that and then next year you're starting something else and you ain't finished nothing but the purpose in this season to possess your promise, go get it, untie it, give God it, get on it, and go for it. Don't you let nothing stop you. Don't you let nothing move you. Don't you let nothing hinder you. This is the season. And 
what Jesus did, what Jesus did on the way to Calvary is a process to your victory. You can have what God says you can have. You can be what God says you can be. The green carpet might turn red. The red carpet might get bloody. The red carpet might get painful. But on Sunday morning, on Sunday morning, on Sunday morning, the sun will shine again. The sun will rise with healing in his wings. I came to let you know, if you walked in here wearing fear, don't wear it. If you walk in here wearing a bad diagnosis, don't wear it. But put on the whole armor. I said put on the whole armor. You've got to know that you're beginning with the end in mind. The process, the process will be Good Friday. But your victory will be resurrection morning. We got a few more days. I said we got a few more days. I said we got a few more days. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. Every promise that God made you, you gon' see it. You gon' see it. You gon' see it. Come to pass. Don't give up now. It got dark. The Bible said when he died at 12 in the afternoon, it was dark at midnight. When he hung his head and died, it got crazy. When he hung his head and died, it got ugly. When he hung his head, blood like sweat ran down his face. They pierced him in his side. They hung him between two things. It got real ugly. But the Bible said, and he died, and he died. I feel like a Baptist preacher. And he died till hell was satisfied. And he died, and he died. It said the veil of the temple was ripped from top to bottom when he died. But he went to hell, and he took the keys of death. Hell and the grave. And he, when he came back, he said, we make power moves. We got our bloody shoes, but we still making power moves. He said, all power, all power, all power. Blood on his feet, but all power. Blood on his shoes, but all power. Holes in his side, but all power. They laid him in a tomb, but he got up, but he got up, but he got up, but he got up. I came to let you know that you will rise again. I came to let you know that you will get up again. And if Jesus got up, you can get up no matter how long. Yo, donkey, been tied up 500 years, 500 years. But I came to tell you that Jesus, the Bible says, one day in heaven is as a thousand years. One day in heaven is as a thousand years. And when God gets ready, He'll speed up the process of what's been held up for 500 years. And he'll turn your situation around just like that. One minute is like an hour. One day like a thousand years. Somebody said that so somebody asked God, well, if one day is as a thousand years, one minute is like an a, a, a hour or a year. They ask God, is 
one dollar, like a million dollars. He said, give me one minute. I came to tell him that when God turns it around, he'll turn it around in just a minute before you know it. Before you know it. Before you know it. Don't give up on oh God. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. Don't give up now. Who is that, Nigel? Don't give up. It's not, I was giving up the Lord, my Nigel. I got it right the first time. Nigel, I haven't seen you in a long time. But I probably since the wedding. But I came to tell you, you may have a promise that it seems like has not happened yet. But you're in this house this morning for God to remind you, don't give up on God. Your future belongs to God. Your purpose belongs to God. Your life belongs to God. When they prayed for you, when your mother brought you to the altar and dedicated you back to God, you belong to God. And the devil can't stop what belongs to God. I said the devil can't stop your dream, your purpose, your healing, your promise, your destiny. Open your mouth, stand on your feet, clap your hands, and begin to give God a break. Dark, but it's still gonna happen. Crazy, but it's still gonna happen. Good Friday, but it's still gonna happen. Holy Saturday, but it's still gonna happen. No matter what it looks like, gonna happen. The green carpet turned red, but it's still gonna happen. Because on Sunday morning, he got up. I said he got up. I said he got up. Go get it. I said go get it. I said go get it. Give it back to God. Go get it. I'm tired, yoked up. It ain't that it ain't there. It's just been held up for 500 years. It ain't that it ain't true. It's just been held up 21 days. But I came to tell you, I said I came to tell you that you can have it. You can have it. It's you. Clap your hands and get up. Don't wait till the battle is over. Don't wait till the battle is over. But shout now. Shout now. Jesus said, the Pharisees said, you can't party like that. You can't party like that. Jesus began to say, you don't tell me what to do because you don't know who I am. I ain't never scared. I ain't gonna put on scared. I'm not gonna put on fear. I'm not gonna take it off. If you got it on, take it off. But put on power. Put on the pray. Put on the helmet of salvation. Breastplate of righteousness. Serve your Lord with truth. Be sharp with peace. Put it on. Put it on. You got dressed, but you didn't get dressed right. Go back home and put it on. Go into the recesses and climb it up your mind. That's why the Bible says, go into your secret closet. Because every now and then, when you pray, it's the things you gotta take off. And some other things 
You got to put it on. Put it on. Put it on. And know that God will bring you out of this. God will turn it around. God will. I said God will. And tell God thank you. God will. Everything that God promised in your life, He will. Everything that God said will come to pass. God will. But you got to be obedient. Don't let the enemy. Don't let the enemy paint you pictures and make you think that you don't belong to God. Don't let the enemy sell you wolf tickets and make you believe that you can't have. He tried to sell Jesus wolf tickets, but Jesus knew he was going somewhere. It's Palm Sunday morning. Where did Palm come from? It wasn't here all the time. I'm like, did it just fly down from the sky? This was not here when I first got here. <laughs> Don't you try to convince me that it was here all along. This was not up here. It might have been here when you was here, but it won't here when I got here. But I came to tell you, it's a sign of victory. It represents, God is saying to you, Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep fighting. Hallelujah. It ain't easy. It's not easy. It's some things that's got to change. It's some things that's got to go. It's some things down on the inside that you've got to take it off. Right, right, right. It does not belong to you. You've got to take it off. I can't do it. There's too much. The devil is a liar. You don't know the God I serve. You can't have that. The devil is a liar. Take it off. The other sun, on the last week, week before last, the temperatures went up sky high. Went up almost 70 something, 80 degrees. Hallelujah. And of course, them little ones in my house came skipping down the steps with the shortest shorts they could find. I came out there. I said, Where do you think you're going? It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be hot outside today. I said, but it's 32 degrees now. And I mean, you ain't got to put on a snowsuit, but you ain't going out here like that. Three, four more days later, here they come with a sundress on. Where are you going? <laughs> Miss Ross, it's picture day. You gonna put some clothes on for picture day. Because every now and then you got to remind yourself, it's not what it seems. Now, yesterday I had to give you allergy medicine because you can't breathe. I said, it's because you want to be naked. <laughs> you don't want to put no clothes on. And it ain't summertime. It is not summertime. Just because it cool off, take the heavy jacket off. But you ain't running around here in no shorts till June. Or at least the middle of May, Memorial Day or something. Remind yourself that there are some things you cannot wear. Y'all stand up. I'm not finished now. I ain't preaching no more. I'm finished now. Remind yourself. We getting ready to pray. Remind yourself that what God, you got to remind yourself of what God told you to put on. And stop dressing like what you feel. You understand what I'm saying? Stop putting on your circumstances and your situations and start wearing what's according. Mom, I'm so glad to see you. Start putting on what's according to your revelation. Too many of y'all dressing like your situation. Stop dressing like you're broke. Honey, if you got to iron the same suit twice in two, three days a week, wear the good one. Put it on. Just put it on. The different turn the skirt around the other way. It's a hollow today. It's a low hollow. <laughs> Just figure out, but where, where the good one? Stop.
stop addressing like your situation. Because today just might be the day. Today might be the day. The promises of God. Jesus knew what time it was. And if he had a, came through Jerusalem according to what he thought in his mind, according to what he knew, he would have came then. Sometimes the little boy in my house, when he get in trouble, and the little girl, just sit. This is how Jesus would have been going through Bethany. Jesus said, you don't know what I know. I do know what's getting ready to happen but I'm not going to dress like it. I do know I'm not going to look like it. Some of y'all, be careful that you don't put on what, what you're wearing, what God did not give you to wear. So many times we're wearing spirits. We're wearing agendas. We're wearing what belongs to the enemy. But take it off. That does not belong to you. That does not belong to a child of God. Fear, that don't belong to a child of God. Wake up and get yourself together and look like God. God's bringing me out. God is helping me. I belong to God. Hallelujah. I don't know if there's someone here today and your red carpet seems like it's gotten torn looks like instead of palm branches you've gotten some rocks and some boulders on your red carpet on your green carpet on your process it's been some things that have stopped you and you've gotten to certain points and felt like you can't get through this the altar is open if you want to you can walk this way because we're going to believe god it's the process come on you can walk this way i'm believing god that he's taking me and everything that God says is mine. It's mine. I belong to God. Somebody else that's in this room today, you're saying, the enemy has been t telling me to be quiet. The enemy has been trying to make me put on things that don't belong to my purpose, that don't belong to my destiny. Hallelujah. There have been some days I've been crying. Did the palm go in Is it in my hair? That's why I wanted it. Good. That's, that's a good place for it. I don't want to lose what God has for me. I, got I don't want to lose my purpose. I don't want to lose sight of where God has taken me. And the enemy in this season will try to make you lose sight, but he's a liar. The Bible says he's the liar and he's the father of lies. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose sight. The victory, resurrection Sunday morning, is victory. That's the journey. And it's going to get dark. It has gotten dark. But everything that's not like God, take it off. Everything that does not belong to God, take it off. Be who God anointed you to be. Go where God anointed you. Walk into your purpose. Walk into your promise. Walk into your destiny. You have the power of God to overcome everything that God says you will have, be, and do. In Jesus' name, lift up your hands, everybody. Everybody stand if you can. Father, I thank you today that today represents the road to resurrection. I thank you today, God, that today you caused us to see that even on the road to resurrection, that there will be days that will seem like we're going in the wrong direction. There will be days that will seem like it's never going to happen. There will be days when the green carpet will become red. When our eyes will be filled with tears. When we'll even feel blood running down our backs. 
and down our side. But God, I thank you today. I thank you today that this is only the process. But your word declares that if we just go get it, there is a, 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 a vehicle, there is a process that's been held up. There's purpose in this process that's been held up. And if we just get on it, if we go get it, if we untie it, if remember God that if we bring it back to you, we give it back to you, God. If we give it, give, give God it, no matter what it is. Today, God, we come to give God it. Every it in our lives that's been hard, every it in our lives that's been held up, we give God it. And we thank you, Lord, that today we will run this race that you set before us, knowing that victory is our expected end. We thank you, Lord, that victory is on the way. We thank you, Lord, that the promise is on the way. We thank you, Lord, that everything you said you will do in Jesus' name. And we clap our hands, open your mouth, and begin to tell God thank you. Come on, clap your hands, open your mouth, and begin to tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise. Give him a praise. Give God a praise. Begin to thank him. Hallelujah, Bishop. I'm turning it over to you. Hallelujah. There's victory even in this. There is victory even in this. You're in the process to the promise. Walk the red carpet to the resurrection in Jesus' name. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and give the Lord your best praise right where you are. Come on, you can do better than that. Help me bless the Lord for the word of the Lord. Come on, help me now. Help me give Jesus a big praise in this house. Come on, we open our mouths and we give him glory. Come on, we give him praise on today. Come on, we give him honor today. Hallelujah. 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 Do me a favor, resting on your feet, just take about three steps and declare I'm walking the red carpet to the resurrection. Come on, take a few more steps and declare I'm walking this red carpet to the resurrection. How about your neighbor tell them there's greater after this? Y'all not talking to nobody, there's greater after this. I dare you to read back and declare early one Sunday morning. You ain't got to wait until next Sunday. It happened over 2,000, 25 years ago, 24 years. He got up. Somebody ought to lift your hand and declare early, early, early. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He got up before we got up. He got up before we started feeling this. Look at somebody and tell them with all power, all power. Can you help me thank God for Pastor Ross Brown? Can you help me give God praise for this word? Hallelujah. 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 What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. 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 I'm walking this carpet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been through to walk through this carpet. On this carpet. Look at somebody and tell them I've been through something. Hallelujah. I got a right to walk on this. Hallelujah. 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 He died that we might have a right to walk on this carpet. Hallelujah. 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 Because he lives. I can face every one of my tomorrows. Because he lives, all fear is gone. You may be seated. As I know. Hallelujah. Who holds tomorrow? Who holds the future? No, who holds my hand? Hallelujah. Many things about tomorrow that I don't understand. But I know who holds my hand. And I need somebody to prophesy to your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, it's already all right. 
That's why I can walk this carpet today. Because it's already all right. I said, that's why I can walk in like this. Because it's already declared it's already. I said, it's already, it's already. It's already all right. I don't care what they say. Tell your neighbor, I don't care what they say. I don't care what's going on. Look at somebody and declare it's already all right. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds. I dare you. Whether you're seated or standing. Give it your no, 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 no. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He took on death. He took on hell. He took on the grave. And he got up with all power. Thank you, Pastor Ross. Thank you, Jesus. He got up. Hallelujah. Somebody shout just for me, just for me. The Bible talks about he that knew no sin became sin that we might be. Somebody shout, God did it, God did it. We get ready to give, God did it. But I'll give you 20 more seconds. I dare you to put your foot on. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hosanna. Oh, oh, blessed be the rock. You say of my salvation. Come on, say, Hosanna. You say, Blessed be the rock. Oh, blessed be the rock of my salvation. The Lord liveth the Lord. And blessed be the rock. And let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord, the Lord. I dare you to put your hand on it right there. We're getting ready to move. But look at somebody in the crowd, the Lord is. A blessed name. Hosanna. 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 Hosanna, 
Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. We lift you up, 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 Hosanna. Hosanna, 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 Isaiah said his name shall be called Wonderful, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. One more time, help me bless the Lord for the word of the Lord coming to us on this morning through our executive assistant pastor. One more time, help me thank God for Pastor Roz on this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God for the presence of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is still a strong tower. The righteous can still run into it and they are safe. Hallelujah. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Hallelujah. Just testify to your neighbor. Tell him there's safety in his arms. Hallelujah. The ushers are circulating the envelopes on this morning. Hallelujah. It's still morning and we're going to get you out in the next few moments. Hallelujah. But we want to come together to worship the Lord, both in this house and those of us that are streaming by way of social media. Thank you. Those of you on Facebook. Listen, it's still not too late to like, tag, and share. Those of you on YouTube, it's still not too late for you to subscribe to our channel, for you to give us those thumbs ups and, and hit those bells for those, no, those notifications so that you can get it. But I'm asking everyone that we would prepare ourselves to worship the Lord in our giving and we're going to give in our tithe and in our offering. Uh, we always circulate as well the yellow envelope to be a blessing to our Metropolitan Archbishop. Uh, whenever you feel uh, the unction or the blessing uh, of the Lord to bless our Metropolitan, we're gonna do that. Uh, but we're also going to bless our executive assistant pastor pastor as soon as we are completed with this particular area and there are two things i'm going to ask very simply the first thing is that well three things the first thing is that you would be obedient to the lord those of us that are tithers uh, the bible declares bring all the tithe into the storehouse that there might be meat in my house and this is what the lord says i didn't say it. he said it prove me now here with said the lord of hosts if i will not open up the windows of heaven pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Second thing is this. I'm asking that everyone would be generous and, and just loving and cheerful in your, your general offering giving. I'm asking those of you that can sow a $40 seed. Now, you may have already planned to give more. Do that in the name of the Lord. If you didn't plan to give that much, come on, shoot on up if you can. The Lord knows your heart. Uh, Lord knows your heart and your pocketbook, as they would say. Uh, so we can't fool God. And then this is the other thing that I'm going to ask. It, it's not the, fourth, the fifth Sunday, but uh, we switched it around so that I would have the opportunity to minister for uh, Resurrection Sunday. And, and Pastor Ross said yes, so she's ministering today, but we want to bless our executive assistant pastor. I'm going to uh, bless the woman of God with a $50 seed, and I'm asking that everybody that can do a 50 or a 100 or a 1,000, as the Lord has blessed you, to do that in just a few moments. The ways to give are on your screen. Uh, if you don't know, uh, here they are. NJICM is the theme. N everybody say NJICM. 
NJICM. That takes you to the website, NJICM.com, where you can give, uh, donate, forward slash donate. You can do that. NJICM is also for Cash App, dollar sign, NJICM. NJICM is also for text to give. The, 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 the mobile number that you can put in is 77977 and text NJICM to 77977. Now, if you're like me, you can get to the place where you can just put NJICM and $40 or 40, and it'll take $40 out, and that's all you have to text because once you get it set up, you can just do it that way. Um, that's a good way to give. Or, listen, look at somebody and tell them, we never refuse cash. <laughs> Oh, we never refuse cash. Put that in the envelope. Uh, write a check to NJICM. Do that in the name of the Lord. How many of you are blessed today? So let's begin on this morning. If you're a tither this morning, resting on your feet, I want to pray for every tither, whether you, you're tithing today or this, this past week you tithe, because most of us now, we tithe when we get paid. And I thank God for each and every one of your obedience. Father, we thank you as we're pointing our hands in the direction of those that may be standing. Father, bless them. Thank you for their obedience to your word. Thank you that they're not robbers, but givers. Not under any curse, but under the blessing of the Lord. So bless them, everybody declare in Jesus' name. Now everybody resting on your feet. The Lord loves what kind of giver? I say it again, the Lord loves what kind of giver? Now listen, we don't do this too often, but I'm often reminded that every now and then we may just come to church and somebody may not have a seed to give. So just be a helpful one to somebody that may be on your roll. If they don't have a seed, you don't have to expose them or put them out, put them out, uh, put them all out. But you know, if they don't have something, say I'm gonna share a seed with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a seed so you can share. What is it? Twenty five that you want to give? Fifty that you want to give? I want to sow that for you. Uh, you can do that on today helping everybody to be a participant in this time of giving everybody declared there is no lack there is no lack so everybody decreeing together not a dead i owe but a seed i sow i sow cheerfully therefore i receive cheerfully good measure pressed down shaken together and running over are men giving unto me testify to your neighbor tell them you're out of debt your needs are met and you have much more in store in Jesus' name. Come giving in the name of the Lord. If you're giving electronically, just tap, 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 tap. If you're giving by envelope, just put that in. We want to be a blessing. God bless you. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you to each and every one of you. God bless you. Deacon Savage, if you can pass me my phone real quick. Thank you so very much. As we're giving in the house, I pray that you are giving online as well. And at this time, we're setting things up and we're giving out palm branches. So as you exit, when you when it's time to exit, you'll receive your palm branches. We're not gonna let you leave without your palms. But at this time, we're being a blessing to our executive assistant pastor, Pastor Roz Brown, her information is on the web on the website as well uh it's also on the screen her worship dollar sign her worship for cash app those of you that are giving by way of of cash or checks you can write it out to ross brown or cash is king as they would say in the streets uh let's just begin to prepare our seeds to be a blessing uh to pastor ross at this time so i'm gonna ask everybody one more time if you would just rest on your rest on your feet and just come and be a blessing to our executive assistant pastor we can bless her even without her being in the building amen we know that it is just right to do right amen god is good isn't he help me somebody god is good isn't he I heard you, Pastor Geneva, all the time and all the time. God is good. God is so very good. Once again, we are praying for our Metropolitan Archbishop as she is preparing to minister in, in, uh, in North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina. She is in Durham, yeah, Durham, North Carolina. She is ministering. I believe the service starts at 1230. We're praying that God will bless. Uh, I don't know if they're streaming, but if they're streaming, we'll push the stream so that we can share the ministry of our uh, Archbishop uh, 
there are just, just a few quick announcements that I want to make, just a few uh, things, three quick things very quickly, and then I'm going to put you back into the hands of, uh, or I'll dismiss on this morning. I was about to say uh, overseer, but uh, everybody say Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Wednesday night, we will be in house. We will be in place. This is Holy Week. We will be in place for Dominion Takeover. So I'm asking everybody, This everybody say this is Holy Week. Now, I, I know we're, we're not, we don't do things like everybody else does this, but when I tell you this is the most holy week of the church, this is the most holy week that we observe of the church. And I think that it's important for us as the church to observe, everybody say observe, observe. to observe. Uh, we, we, we have this, this communion table um, before us. And on the communion table, it says this, do in, what? Remembrance of me. There are things that the church ought to never forget, always remember. And so this Holy Week, we, we, we don't want to just not show up just because, oh, I, I don't go to church on Wednesday nights. I can, I can flip on my, my phone or this, everybody say this is Holy Week. This is Holy Week, so we will be in place on Wednesday. Uh, next, next year, we'll probably not do Wednesday, and we'll probably do Thursday and Friday. Everybody say Thursday and Friday. That's next year. You don't have to say it this week, because sometimes somebody will be here on Thursday. Bishop, I thought you said we were going to be here Thursday. I'm obedient. Thank you. But I meant next year. Uh, Wednesday, we will be here on Friday. Everybody say Friday. Friday is Good Friday. Uh, good Friday is the time when we, we observe and, and remember the Lord's death. Um, the Bible declares he hung from the sixth to the ninth hour. Uh, that, that means from around 12 noon to 3 p.m. Uh, the Lord hung on the cross. We're not going to be in church from at, at 12 noon to 3 p.m., but we will be here. Everybody say it, 7 p.m. Say it again, 7 p.m. Say it again, 7 p.m. Uh, this is what I want to do, especially for our, our leaders and especially for our ministers. Uh, we want to be in civic. Everybody say civic. Don't say it with that tone of words. Say civic. Civic. Yes. Yes. Civic. Civic. The deacons will be ministering. And we come on, help me bless the Lord for our deacons. Thank God for all of our deacons. Uh, our, our, our Deacon Emeritus uh, and Elder Bernard Calvin Lambert as well. And, and then Overseer Albert Brown will be here. He's the overseer over all of International Christian Ministries deacons. Uh, he will be sharing as well in all of our other deacons. So it's going to be an awesome time. Uh, Civic on Friday. And then on Sunday, I, I, you may have heard me say this on last Wednesday. I want everybody to wear white. You don't have to wear all white on uh, this this coming Resurrection Sunday. You don't have to wear all white. You can wear your Easter bonnets and all that good stuff, whatever you wanted to wear. Or you can be like me. You can come with a sweatsuit, jogging suit on or whatever, you know. Just do what you do. We're going to be outside. Everybody say outside. Listen, the Lord has blessed us and I'm still praying because right now it looks like it's going to be almost 70 degrees on next Sunday. The low in the morning will be uh, close to 50 degrees, so by the time 10 o'clock gets here, it'll probably be around 60-something, 70, close to 70 at 10 o'clock, so we're going to have a good time. Everybody say a good time. Now, at 7 a.m. for our 7 o'clock in the morning service, we don't care. We just show up anyway. It's going to be awesome, but we're going to have everybody say a little more structure. Uh, so those of us that are normally used to coming to our 7 o'clock service, 7 a.m. service on Resurrection Sunday, and we're just meeting at the corner, we're going to have everybody see a little more structure. We're going to have a worship experience that will last probably about 30, uh, 30, 35 minutes, and we're going to bless the name of the Lord together and then move from there. Amen? And then we'll be back at 12, at 10 a.m. Everybody say 7 and 10. Thank you so very much. And so we bless the name of the Lord for all that the Lord has done. Thank you all so very much. I believe that's all my announcements. Uh, why did I say uh, thank you, Pastor Roz, for reminding me? Because um, the ministers will, uh, especially our female ministers, uh, on the first Sunday, beginning the first Sunday in April, uh, we will be in white. You will be in white. Amen. 
Talk to me, somebody. Amen. So we bless the name of the Lord for that. God is so very good. With all hearts and minds clear. Uh, one, one more time, help me thank God for my sister, Overseer Michelle Claiborne. My other sister. Yeah. <laughs> Resting on your feet all over the building. And for my big sister, Pastor Roz, that blessed us on today. Hallelujah. God is so very good. God is so very good. Uh, one last question. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, do you need a church home? And if they say, you know what? I think I do. Tell them, neighbor, this is a good house. This is a good house. This is a good house with a good name and a good reputation. A good name and a good reputation. Uh, a good name is better than silver and gold. Look at somebody and tell them, keep your good name. Keep your good name. If you're not a part of this ministry and you'd like to be a part, the doors of the church are open. You can come from wherever you are. I want to welcome you in on today. If you're here and you're saying, I want to become a part of this ministry, come this way. We want to welcome you today. God is so very good. Huh? Yeah, won't he do it? Won't he do it? God bless you. So with hands up lifted, Father, we thank you now for the word that we received on today. We thank you, Lord God, for the red, the red carpet towards resurrection. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you did it just for us. Because you died, we can live. And we thank you, Lord God, that you not only gave us life, but you gave us life eternal. And for that, we say thank you. So, Father, on this holy week, Father, I pray that you would cause us, allow us, re remind us to set aside time. To worship you set aside time to remember you set aside time to think about you set aside time to 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 enjoy your presence in jesus name now bless us as we leave this place take us from this place but never from your presence bringing us back with shouts of victory everybody declare in jesus name go in peace and serve the lord is our prayer amen <laughs>